bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I'm speaking Guapanese, I know he can't out on so there have been some really exciting news going on in the Nintendo Switch community as of late. You guys always know that I cover these kinds of videos whenever the news does come out because obviously, first of all, my, my entire channel, the main point of it is Fortnite on the Nintendo Switch and we're struggling down there with 30 FPS. Uh, but on top of that, I've always been looking to play new Nintendo Switch games as well. And the recent news, guys, is insane. So first of all, before anybody freaks out, because I know back when I made the Nintendo Switch Lite leaked video, everybody was like, oh, look at this face news clickbait here and there well Nintendo Switch Lite came out and these are the exact same people who predicted the Nintendo Switch Lite so there is a really good chance that we are actually going to be getting a Nintendo Switch Pro here early in 2021 and I wrote down some of the major improvements that this Nintendo Switch Pro will have I will also be linking the er, in the description um, the links to the actual article. So if you guys want to go and read it, I'll also put a link to the Reddit so you guys can see all the discussion that's going on right now in the Nintendo Switch community. Check it out yourself. But the main things, the huge things that they're covering is the fact that the new Nintendo Switch will have a 4K docked resolution and juiced up computing power, double the internal storage in the original, and four USB ports compared to the one on the very first Nintendo Switch. So now I wanna give you guys my personal insight on the information, on the leaks and everything that I've read so far this morning. But the biggest takeaway that I, I take from this is the fact that A, Nintendo is releasing the new console or planning on releasing it early in 2021. That means that they are trying to avoid competing directly with the Xbox Series X and the PS5, which is a very smart decision in my opinion. And another thing is this updated console is definitely going to be more powerful than the two we have right now because it actually makes zero sense for Nintendo to have a, a regular Nintendo Switch with the same Tegra chip that they have already, release a Nintendo Switch Lite, which is a smaller, more compatible version, and you know, it's cheaper and everything with the same chip. It literally makes no reason for them to release a third Nintendo that has the same power and the same abilities. So I think for sure, this next Nintendo Switch is going to be game changing. And along with the, uh, the hardware upgrades, we're also going to be getting a bunch of new games in 2021 on the Nintendo Switch. That is very exciting because I wanna expand into these other Nintendo Switch games. And I know everybody, you know, we've been playing Fortnite for a long time and I love Fortnite. I appreciate Fortnite more than you guys would ever know and I wouldn't be where I am right now without playing Fortnite on the Nintendo Switch. But there's so many people that are out there that don't play Fortnite anymore or maybe they do play Fortnite but they're looking for new games. I just feel like 2021 is actually going to be the year for Nintendo Switch. It's very exciting and I'll be able to play, you know, Fortnite at higher FPS, 60, I mean 60 plus, you never know. We, can, we, we might get some ridiculous FPS but if we get 60, I'll be more than happy, consistent 60. It'll be really exciting. We'll get all the new games out. And I'll be able to push out so much more content for you guys. I want to be able to get to the point where if we have all these new games, I can get back on that daily upload grind. I'm currently uploading like every other day. I really want to get back to that daily. Um, and overall, I'm just really excited. I think that'll also be really, really good for, for Monta. There's a lot of players on Nintendo Switch that might be quite good at the game, but having that extra 30 FPS, you'll be surprised how much better you can get by having the extra 30 and a smoother game to actually play on. It's just, it's just really exciting overall. I've just been having so much fun creating content, YouTube videos, I've uh, been streaming on Twitch. I just overall, man, I'm just really excited for the future of Nintendo Switch. But either way, guys, if you guys wanna see some more of my content, I also upload mobile games now on my second channel. So the link for that is in the description down below if you wanna go support that. I've been playing Bullet Echo, Legends of Runeterra. Uh, League of Legends Mobile is gonna be coming out pretty soon, so I'm gonna hop on that as well. And overall, I'm just excited to continue to work with you guys and put out the content, you know, grind it up for Monza as well. So I appreciate all the support, guys. I hope you enjoyed this news. And make sure you go ahead and have a read for it for yourself so you guys can see that. There are actually big changes coming for the Nintendo Switch in 2021. Hope you enjoy the video and enjoy the rest of your day.